Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and uh, welcome to my channel tonight. I just am um, uh, stopping by to do a quick flip through of this um, Traveler's Notebook. Uh, this is the Stu Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook from August. I received it and did a previous video of the um, unboxing and so I've kind of redone it uh, I did the also redid the one from July which is in my Etsy shop and this will also go into my Etsy shop uh, this one I did a little differently and so I'll just show you what I did real quick um, I've got a little um, glassine bag here of goodies that's going to come going to come with this and uh, this is the front I just added a little embellishment here on the front of this one. As you see, it's a pretty uh, botanical, but I felt like it was a little plain and uh, dark, so I wanted to brighten it up. So I've got a collage here with a pretty blue bird, and I thought that when I put this bird on here, I thought it just brought this cover to life, and the blue bird kind of brought out the blues in the leaves here so I just thought that was so pretty and then I've got this bright pink bow here like a satiny ribbon that is um, silky and satiny and really brightens up the color cover also and I just love the whole, whole combination here so it came out really pretty on the front we'll just um, take this ribbon off slide it off and uh, do a quick flip through as you can see that's the front and the back is really pretty with covered covered with flowers so very pretty I want to make sure you all can see and what really all I did was um, add pockets uh, these are some a, a card that came with the Studio Calico kit uh, with the notebook and I made it into a pocket here in the front I've got some cutoffs here. This is coffee. Dye. This is a coffee dye cutoff uh, scrap. And this is a book page, and this is just um, some scrapbook paper. And I've got the same thing in the back. I'll show you the back real quick. Um, another piece of that card from the kit, and then the same type of cutoffs in the back for you. I've got a little um, clip here that I will include a binder clip with the book and um, a quick flip through. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it but I do want to point out the graph paper because I know that's hard to see in the camera. So, and I just want to make sure you all can see real good here. Um, let me adjust. There we go. Maybe we were good. Okay, I think that's good. So this is the ombre page, uh, graph paper, uh, the Monday through Friday and then this, this bottom little section here says weekend this is graph paper and as you can see uh, like painted splotches and graph paper flowers that match the cover and graph paper this is a pretty mint green uh, you know, double page here with an ampersand and ampersand, and this is this and that right there. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. It's so um, light right here, and I don't know if the camera's going to focus in on it. But it's really pretty. A couple of pretty pages here. This one has. Um, dotted lines on the side here and all they, they go all the way down dotted lines across and they go all the way down and you can see the other you can see the rest of the bright colors here this is a rosy pink or a pinky rose <laughs> this is like a red and white checks or kind of like a um, it's almost like an orange red right here but really pretty with the double pages and a little banner here. It's not a sticker that's on the page. An ombre turquoise or teal here with graph paper. The rainbow stripes with graph paper. 
a red page with a white circle and a little red, reddish heart there with graph paper. This is the middle. It's got. This is how it comes from Studio Calico with the staples. Last month I took the staples out and sewed in more pages and um, so hand sewed it in. And um, if somebody wanted to buy this and they wanted me to take out the staples and hand sew in the pages, I would be glad to do that. I mean, I, I like doing that, so that would be no problem for me to do that at no additional charge. Um, this is a ledger, which I love this. I, I wanted to uh, keep it because of these two pages right here. I just love these pages. They're... Um, the lines here are, I would describe them as grayish blue, and then they've got the red here and this red triangle over here. So, just really cool. I just love that. And there's a number up here. One, it says 137. So, just that's just awesome. And uh, rainbow colored uh, stars here all over this. This says good times right here. And this is kind of a light blue. Real pretty. Seize the day with graph paper. This is um, little dots all over this page, and these two pages match. The colors match this story, and you've got the dotted lines again across, and then the lines go all the way down. You probably can't see those in the camera because they're pretty light, but I can see them, you know, right here in person. This has dots all over, which is this is a fun thing to. Um, journal on. You can draw on here and just use it, um, use all kind of um, things to connect these dots, you know, words, do your words, do your writing, or or whatever. So that's just, I think that would be fun. Uh, paint splotchy type page, graph paper. This almost looks like newsprint. And it's black and white, and it says uh, much love for this and we've got a light blue heart in the middle with a white border here's a border, a black border and a white in the middle a rosy pink page with L and there's a line and it says love underneath graph paper a plain white page, this is the only white page I've seen as we've been flipping through this is the only white, solid white page and then um, this is the back, which I already showed you. So, and I'll just show you a quick um, what I've got in a goodie bag. And this is the one I'm showing you, this goodie bag. But I always throw in, always throw in a surprise goodie bag with my journal. So that one, of course, I won't show you. And I just want to put that back on there so you can see how pretty that is. I just think it. It really needed that, and I love how it looks. Okay, so this is a little goodie bag. And what I've got here, I just stuffed this full of stuff here. So I've got in here um, some, I've got about, let's see, right here I see one, two, three, four, five. These are vintage buttons. Oh, look, I left some stuff in here. <laughs> Couldn't get it all out. Okay, so anyway, the vintage buttons. I've got some baker's twine right here. I've got the three paper. They're like um, colored, you know, the plastic paper clips. And then I've got a little round tag that I made here. Some baker's twine on it. And the back is plain, so you can write something on there. Then this is a tag that I made, um, B tag, plain on the back so you can write. I usually, sometimes I leave both sides plain, you know, for extra journaling spots. And But if I do put a picture on one side or something on one side, then I try to leave the back blank so you can write on the back. Another tag, this is a butterfly, plain on the back. These I have in my shop, little sale tags that I made. Uh, this one's pink and plain on the back. Another little one I made from scraps. Pretty colors. Another one from scraps. 
and here's some uh, just some scraps or cutoffs. I've got that. Uh, I got one, two, three. This is I think this was a scrap. I think this was a scrap copy dyed paper. This is cardstock. This is a little file folder that I made. I made a bunch of these, and this is a cute one. And this is a die or a um, couple little pieces that came with this uh, kit. I just stuck some of those in there. That one, that one, and that one. These all came with the kit, so they're kind of like you can see the colors match. So very cool. And so that'll be all in that glassine bag. And that oh, here's a little another little scrap I've stuck in there, a little piece of book page. So you can just have all kinds of fun with stuff with that. Um, I left it the way it was because I want the person that gets this uh, to be able to do what they want. I didn't want to get in anyone's way. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, because I've been uh, really trying to uh, be disciplined on journaling and write something down every day and uh, put in pictures or draw drawing or you know stickers or washi tape or whatever I wanted to do and I have the pages I have for right now I'm using graph paper and I really appreciated in my own journal having all the space to do whatever I want so that's why I did not put any more embellishments inside here already and that's why I'm including so many in this bag and in the other surprise goodie bag that I'll be sending so that the person that gets this can just you know whether you're learning or you're experienced at journaling and whatever you do with travelers notebooks and journals and things you know you appreciate the space so this has plenty of space like you saw and and again if you want me to sew in the pages instead of having the staples I think the staples are fine um, if it were me, uh, I don't know, either one, just as long as the pages stay together, right? But whatever, um, whatever you want me to do, if you want me to sew them in, I'll be glad to do that and take the staples out. And uh, so, thank you. I will not keep you any longer. And I will get this into my shop probably tomorrow. And everyone, it's Thursday, so looking forward to the weekend. Everyone have a great weekend and a great Friday. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.